been isolated to then become immersed into the kind of these echo chambers Mm -hmm. and it it seems and i i worry about that uh because we're just listening to the same thing Mm -hmm. and i worry about that because now when we're about to get into organizations how are we navigating the conversations on this idea of what society is now this idea of rightness like we we have to be right in our politics we have it's like you know at some point democracy gets all it's mixed not up it's not even there and so yeah. it's like how and i see where this is such a vital key in organizations and i, I know i asked to talk about technique but it it's how would you suggest uh to navigate that conversation to the leader or the <laughs> Well, he isn't just not relaxed at all. I really wish he'd come out of his shell because he gets so he gets so shy. Uh, but how how would what would be the best way in the technique with the broadcasting, listening? You're sitting here in the boardroom. People are coming back to work. How would you navigate that with this power of listening? If everybody's different opinions, yeah. how it would be? You're in an organization. You're in front of us in the boardroom. And I help us navigate these difficult conversations. Yes. And oftentimes this begins before that, right? Mm -hmm. Because one of the things that I say about listening is that uh, true listening requires us willing to be influenced. If I'm not willing to be influenced, I can't really listen because I already think I'm right. I know I'm right. And I'm only going to be listening to poke holes in your argument or to tell you how you're wrong. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really listening Mm -hmm. to you to try to understand where you're coming from. And quite frankly, I think that's where Congress is and has been for a couple of decades now. Mm -hmm. The word compromise has become a dirty word. So now it's all about winning. And I think we have a culture that's bent on winning which kind of goes back to my self broadcasting. Comp- mm-hmm. uh, um, so I think what's happened in the last, what, 20 years since we've had social media and things like that, mm-hmm. people have started oh God, has it been that self. Long? I know. I think it has, right? <laughs> oh has it? I don't, I don't know. know. It's somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but people have begun self broadcasting. This is how mm-hmm. I feel. This is how I think. Mm-hmm. They're not, those channels, you know, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, um, they're not set up to really have conversations. No. They're set up to Mm self-broadcast. And when we self-broadcast, people become really righteous about it in terms of I am right. And that means that everybody else out there is wrong. Mm -hmm. And so we're not willing to be influenced. We're not willing to compromise. We don't have the practice of communication that we used to decades ago when we sat around the kitchen table without cell phones and televisions on, you know, and you really learned a lot in those dinners, you know, oh, Mm -hmm. don't say that to Uncle Harry because he's going to do this or grandma takes a little while to think, but then when she says something, it's going to be some, you know, really valuable. Mm -hmm. And so you pick those things up as little kids around the dinner table, but we just don't have those dinner table conversations anymore. No. 